Good evening, everyone, and thank you for being here tonight. I'm Wayne McCormick. I'm glad you're watching on Brave Blanks. There is growing speculation that the remains found yesterday in Big Spring are those of missing Colorado City teen Haley Dunn, although authorities investigating are not saying much. Haley has been missing from her Colorado City home for almost 15 months now. Big Spring, of course, is just a short distance away from where Haley and her mother and her mother's boyfriend lived. She was last seen December 27th. 2010. K-Texas reporter Brittany Molinar has been in Big Spring since early this morning getting the facts. And Brittany, this has been a long day for investigators as well. It really has, Wayne. If you look just behind me, you might be able to see where some dirt has been filled in. This is exactly where the workers found the remains on Tuesday afternoon. Now, things have drastically slowed down here since this morning, but earlier today, this entire area was filled with FBI, Texas Rangers, and other assisting agencies. We secured the scene. Contacted the FBI's evidence for recovery response team, and they are now, as of about 9 30 this morning, on the scene. Sergeant Tony Everett with the Big Spring Police Department says the unknown remains were found by employees of a nearby oil field company who were working about 100 feet away. The remains are partially, partially mummified and skeleton. With all of this information, the number one question everyone wants to know is, are these the remains of missing Colorado City teen Haley Dunn? I'm not going to speculate on who it is. We have no idea. We don't have any, any evidence of male, female, or anything at this point in time, so there's no sense even going there. One of the reasons so many people are speculating that this could be missing teen Haley Dunn is because about a mile away sits the home of Sean Atkins' mother. During the investigation of Haley's disappearance, Sean Atkins, a boyfriend of Billy Dunn, was the only person of interest. Throughout the day, Hope for Haley search team members came out to show their support and hopefully receive some answers. I knew that she didn't get herself into trouble. She didn't. She wasn't a wild teenager running around crazy. She was a good kid and she didn't get herself in trouble and I knew she didn't run away. Jenkins says that just after one this morning, she spoke with Haley's mother, Billy, who now lives in Austin. She said, Holly, I just don't know what to do. Just want her to be put to rest and her to get justice. And those unknown remains have been taken to Tarrant County where they will undergo an autopsy. Wayne? Brittany, you mentioned that uh, Billy Dunn and uh, her boyfriend Sean had moved to the Austin area about the middle part of last year. Now, is it our understanding now that they may be back in Colorado City tonight? That's exactly right, Wayne. We did learn from the Howard County Sheriff's that Billy Dunn, and we also went ahead and confirmed this with Sean Adkins' attorney, Alex Eisen, that they are both back in the Colorado City area. Okay. Thank you very much, Brittany.